Certainly is an important issue facing our city on the rise. Affordable housing, or should we say the lack of it. Combine rapid growth with a red hot real estate market and the choices are limited. So imagine how tough it is to find an affordable home for someone with special needs. News Channel 5's Olivia Michael introduces us to one local mother who has a very personal perspective about the struggle. Elizabeth Gray is like many others. Don't want anything big. <laughs> <laughs> she and her husband are searching for a new home in this competitive market. The most important thing would be if we could find a ranch mm -hmm. style. The search began after rent went up hundreds of dollars a month on their first floor apartment. Um, it was disheartening. Now finding a home within budget is increasingly difficult. We've not ever, um, gone for like the fanciest apartments, the nicest, newest ones, most expensive ones, because we've always known that we want to get a house. And not just any house. We have to lift him in and out of the tub. We have to, we're lifting him, you know, in and out of bed. They need a home that's wheelchair accessible for their eight-year-old son, Clayton. He's learned how to maneuver his wheelchair so he can lock it, unlock it. He's figuring out how to turn in it. The family wants to stay in Bellevue so Clayton won't have to switch schools. But with homes averaging well above their price range, Gray feels families like hers are being left behind. People with mobility issues. It's people with that are on fixed incomes. Still, she's holding on to hope that maybe, just maybe, the perfect one level home may be affordable and may be out there. In Nashville, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5.